Hi, so I want to demo here and give you a close-up view of these LED string lights that I got. So sometimes these are called fairy lights and they're by InnoTree. And this particular one actually has a remote control. So let me show you that remote control here and also give you an up-close view. So I got this, actually, I, I get a lot of these lights sometimes because I hang them year-round on my ceiling. Uh, this particular one I got for, believe it or not, Legos. Uh, I have these Lego sets, which are houses, and I am going to put the lighting in there because these are actually pretty thin for that. Um, so let me demo the remote control first and give you an up-close view of the lights and the wiring itself later. So this is an infrared remote control, so it requires a line of sight. So you'll notice I will be aiming at the plug here and shutting it off and turning it on and I have a bunch of other settings so you will notice I could dim it and let, let me dim it here and it's not really showing up as dimmed on the um, video itself uh, so let me just change modes so I'm going to change the mode here And you can see now it's blinking rapidly. And that's mode one, mode two. It has a different frequency of blinking. Mode three here. You can see that's your typical uh, Christmassy light blinking. But it also cycles through and has some random blinking here. So that's mode three. Some randomness to it. Here's mode four. And you can see with mode four, it has a really light lighting and then it dims and it alternates. So this whole string set is 33 feet. And I got this for about $12. And I'll have the link in the description area of this video. But, um, it is 33 feet and the lights itself are four inches apart or the LEDs so you can see this is mode 4 this is mode 5 this is mode 6 and mode 6 has the soft dimming turns back on soft dimming turns back on mode 7 Mode 7 is a rapid flash. And mode 8 here. Let me change it to mode 8. Mode 8 is just that it stays on permanently. And let me try to dim it now. Because maybe I wasn't in the line of sight here. So you see it's dimmed. And I am going to make it brighter now to maximum brightness. And that looks like it's the maximum brightness. And let me go ahead and unplug this and show you the plug itself. So the remote is actually pretty thin. And it uses one of those coin batteries. So the way to open this is actually to push this over to the right and pull it down. So you can see that's the mechanism for it, that you merely push it over to the right and then pull it down because there's the clip is right there. So this is the coin battery that it uses, uh, you know, fairly thin here. And these things last, you know, a good five years lots of times. So that's how you open it, is push it over to the right and then pull it down. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let me give you an up close of the lights itself. So let me give you an up close view of the switch. So this does come with it. When you plug it in, it actually does have its own on off switch here. You know, so you'll have to aim the remote control right on this switch to turn it on. 
And let me go ahead and give you an up close view now. This is a USB, so you, you could you know plug it into any USB adapter that you have. Also, um, but let me go ahead and show you the fairy lights themselves up close. So this is the open end here. And as I mentioned before, this kit itself was $12. And again, it's in the description area of this video, my link to the Amazon where I got this from. So this is the open-ended portion. And as I mentioned before, I use this for a variety of things. Uh, a lot of people put this in glass jars and it gives it a very nice ambiance to it. Um, I have these on my ceiling year round and especially with this remote control it's very nice and handy to turn it on and off now instead of plugging it uh, my previous ones did not have the remote control and this thing uses very little energy uh, this whole thing uses one watt of energy for the 33 feet so you notice that's the LEDs and as I mentioned before I'm using this particular one to put into my Lego houses so I have those town series Legos and uh, the copper wire is thin enough such that I can totally you know just put it in between the Lego bricks and have you know the light just come out and in which case I could simply turn it on and off with this remote control which comes in uh, awesomely handy so um, so let me go ahead and just uh, you know show you that you know these things are as flexible as very flexible and and so you could scrunch it up or tie it around something and that that is the neat aspect of this and it does go through the LED lights that are tiny just tiny but super bright and let me plug it in once again just to give you a good feel for how it is when it is close up and light it and, and let me do the mode 8 which is permanently on and you can see you know, how they are here um, but that's really it. That's really what I wanted to show. And I hope this helps. And uh, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.